Looks like maybe we are. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is uh, Cordovan, Community Manager for Dungeons & Dragons Online, here for our weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream on Twitch TV. It's, uh, dot, uh, or slash uh, DDO stream. Sorry, a little discombobulated. i uh, sort of running last minute here. It's been a uh, busy morning, so I'm, uh, well, frankly, I'm a little less prepared than I usually am for our live stream show, but hey, you know what? This is a casual affair right on Twitch, so we're just going to run with it anyway. I am on Orion. If you want to uh, roll up a character on Orion, I'm on a uh, iconic level 15 character. Figured I'd run through Lords of Dutch, uh, Dust, uh, Servants of the Overlord. See if we can even get to Spinner of Shadows uh, during this lunch stream here. We'll just kind of play it by ear and see how things go. So the name of the character is Soy Bacon, and I am going to be putting up an uh, LFM here in just a minute. So go ahead and... Uh, Join if you are interested. We uh, get the uh, thing up here. All right. Welcome. All right. <laughs> Yeah, Dicterum, he's a, he's a sly one, isn't he? He likes to uh, play around. <laughs> yep, so I, I just rolled up another quick character here for this live stream. We're going to be spending the next couple of weeks here on uh, Orion, so I didn't actually have a uh, character ready to go on Orion that I wanted to uh, list publicly. Hey, uh, welcome. So instead, I just sort of quick rolled up an Iconic. So I'm running with just straight Iconic gear. I rolled this guy up about uh, 10 minutes before the actual start of the uh, live stream here. So, yeah, but it doesn't matter. It'll be just fine. Hi, yeah, as a matter of fact, I will tell you a little bit more about Crystal Cove today. And by today, I mean tomorrow. Because Crystal Cove will uh, start tomorrow and run for approximately a week. Uh, actually, about an entire week uh, for Crystal Cove. And then it'll be making probably an appearance... Uh, uh, and a little bit later as well, but we're going to be running it for a week here starting tomorrow So get those uh, cobalt mining skills in order because because we're ready to go with Crystal uh, Cove Now I should note that there are no changes from Crystal Cove uh, compared to last time uh, So it is the same Crystal Cove that perhaps you've run in the past and what that means is that there is no say new epic gear I would say this though as well that we we are going to be doing a commendation a Valor Boost starting tomorrow as well, and I believe running through... Hmm, maybe the week... Uh, at least running through the weekend. And uh, we'll see about that. Oh, I, sorry, I don't have that uh, as prepared as I thought, but at least it's co going tomorrow. So, for those of you who are perhaps uh, have extra high-level characters that are not interested in running Crystal Cove, we do have a commendation of Valor Boost for you as well. But uh, those folks who are interested in running Crystal Cove, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we have a, a coupon that'll be Cove-related this week as well, I think. Not sure what we ended up settling on on that one, but uh, still get a nice little freebie there for Crystal Cove. and should be a good time. I know that for months now I've been hearing a lot of people say, Hey, can we have Crystal Cove back? So the answer is yes, and uh, so hopefully everyone will be looking forward to that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, we just put it into the game, oh, within the last hour or so, a plus 10% heroic and epic XP boost now through Update 22. So all the way through uh, the, the release of Update 22, we're going to be having an extra 10% heroic and epic XP. I already hear your next question, which is, well, okay, so then when is Update 22? Sorry, we're not yet ready, yet ready to announce a release date for Update 22. But, you know, you can do the math and figure out what uh, has got to be coming sooner rather than later, right? Uh, I will say in regards to Sooner and Update 22 as well, uh, we do have plans to show some of Update 22 on Lamania very, very soon here. Uh, so as soon as we're ready to go with that, we've still you know, get the, the build all ready to go and and uh, update it on Lamania and all that sort of thing. We're going to announce uh, the World Open for that on Lamania, so if you like your Lamania public preview, this is going to be uh, an exciting couple of days here. Hopefully we should be able to get the Update 22 first preview on Lamania well, within the next 48 hours. I think tomorrow is our target date for that, perhaps Friday. Depends on sort of how the work goes in the next 12 hours here. But uh, you'll be seeing some 
guild stuff and some really cool update 22 things as well. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be uh, previewing. Uh, some of that is still to be sort of determined, but uh, but we're going to be having some big previews and some Lamania events. I know at least Cookie Kobold is going to be on uh, Lamania doing his uh, cookie stuff, and I'm going to be on Lamania as well, uh, probably handing out some gear and helping some people uh, do whatever they need to do to get ready for previewing on Lamania and just to have some fun here too. And heck, who knows, I'll probably be live streaming some of that as well. All right, uh, thanks everyone uh, for joining me. I've you guys are ready to go. I am going to run uh, Lords of Dust and uh, just kind of see how things go here. If uh, you want to get ready and uh, join me. And let's uh, say hello to the chat room. Uh, yes, I am going to be giving away some turbine points to people who are in the chat. So, uh, you know, if you are a turbine point minded, you might want to post in our chat. Because I'm just going to be randomly clicking on people and sending them messages and giving them some turbine points. So... <laughs> Let me actually put the first one in right now. Let's see. All right. Uh, let's see. XP weekend, yeah, going to be very cool. Um, yes, Mayo Lancer bring good fortune to all of us. <laughs> All right. I think we're pretty much ready to go here, huh? Let's just take it easy and do a... Uh... Oh, that's a good point. No, I, I could take care of that. That's no problem. I'll take care of the hireling here. The company will take care of the hireling for us. <laughs> Let's see. Level 15. Hello, Jetrina. How you doing? So this build is really just kind of a, a, a generic build. I just basically went with some strength and dex and, um, you know, um, con. Uh, basic, like, say, uh, Shadow Kai gear. So, you know, not optimized or any of that sort of thing. Uh, got dipped into the uh, assassin the line and the iconic uh, uh, Shadow Kai uh, line for the enhancements, just to kind of play around with things. Get cleave, because I like cleave. Great cleave, actually. So, so yeah. Let's see. We talked about the XP bonus. We talked about Crystal Cove. We talked about the accommodation, the Valor boost. We talked about uh, update twenty-two on Lamania. So, uh, as you can see, we got quite a lot, uh, quite a lot going here. So, it should be pretty, uh, pretty interesting couple of weeks, and uh, more too, of course, because update twenty-two is going to be very exciting. Epic Three Barrel Cove, uh, although I'm sure you all know that by this point. Uh, the Swashbuckler Prestige Enhancement Line. Uh, we're going to have a uh, sort of a. Oh, I don't know. You'll see it on Lamani. You already did see a little bit of it. Uh, like a. Kind of a shared ingredient bank thing. And uh, some other goodies as well coming with Update 22. I was working on the release notes. Uh, perhaps if I get a chance. I can uh, try to share a couple of the bug fixes that I already know about. Uh, as always, you know, with these Lamania release notes, things are subject to change. Uh, they're not a complete list when we first get out to Lamania. It tends to be. Oh, um, nope, who's left? Novice, come with me. There we go. Welcome. Yeah, uh, Lamania is our uh, public preview server. Uh, people commonly think of it as a beta preview server. It's not technically uh, beta, I believe, as, as defined by software development, but uh, it's really more of a public preview. But it's beta-like. <laughs> I think there are some uh, technical reasons why we don't call it beta. Because you guys aren't testing. You're previewing. But, uh, 
But yeah, that'll be update 22, and that'll be uh, real soon. It is a separate client. Uh, it is free, of course. You can download it. And if you do go onto Lamania, we have all sorts of tools to help you level up a character, uh, gear them out, uh, things like that. And we do have some dev events as well. It's a kind of a, a Wild West a little bit on Lamania. It can be a lot of fun to uh, preview things over there. So I would encourage you to give it a try. Uh, if you want to find out how to uh, preview on Lamania, just go and... Uh, head to the DDO forums. There's a Lamania subsection there where you can talk a little bit, or you can download the client. Uh, you basically just have to install it in a place other than your regular DDO client, and uh, that's that. So. Lamania is a lot of fun. Uh, we don't. I don't know if we're going to have our character copy tool ready for this first preview, but it's something we're working on. So hopefully, within uh, a short period of time, we'll actually have a, our character copy back, and that should be nice. The novice who accompanied Noman lies on the ground in the hallway ahead. No, you do not uh, generally have to own the packs on Lamania. Uh, you can get free turbine points that just apply to Lamania, of course, so you can't use them on live servers. But you can just talk to someone in a place called a Test Dojo. It's in the Marketplace. And just click on a door there, and you'll be taken to this special room where, like I say, you can get ingredients and plat and just all sorts of things to help you sort of gear out and test out your character and get it ready to go. It's kind of a lot of fun to play around with that sort of thing. Uh, and so any packs you might need, you can just purchase that way. But additionally, especially during events where uh, admins uh, like myself or Cookie Cobalt are on, we can help you out with whatever you need to do in terms of getting flagged or whatever, uh, generally for the quest. There are a few technical limitations we too sometimes have to deal with, but for the most part, you know, we do our best to make sure everyone can play the content. I know what will happen is you'll click on an NPC down, and it'll just simply like uh, be added to your temple. Lamania account. And so what you'll do like is uh, um, just be able to, to just uh, buy what you need. <laughs> Man, this guy's so gimped. See, this is why you need spot and search items, folks. Can't even find this. I'm the world's worst rogue on these live streams because I don't actually have any gear. <laughs> but I should be able to heal you up. I did actually buy Thieves Tools this time, although so far it doesn't seem to actually have done me much good now, has it? Unfortunately. Hey Mary, uh, congratulations on being our screenshot of the weeker this week. I, uh, as usual, I didn't actually, uh, you know, I don't look to see who actually does the screenshot, just so I can remain my impartial self. And uh, when I saw it was uh, Mary, I was like, hey, that's cool. So, uh, congratulations on being our screenshot of the week this week. A woman's voice drifts up from somewhere below. She speaks no more, and the Inquisitor himself replies, "You will do no such." Oh, was that really? I thought it was at the bottom of the steps there.
potions in my hot bar just in case. Yeah, this could be kind of a. Uh, uh, I've seen some uh, some people die in this section here if you're not careful, which I am not. So, oh no, Chitrina! Save yourself! I agree. I mean, granted, I don't really have much in the way of cure, but I do have a search of 36. I think that'd be enough to spot it on hard, but I guess not. Yes, that's true. I uh, did not purify. You need to be, uh, what, basically lawful good, is that right? Or a cleric, or paladin, to be able to purify those altars, I think? Is that right? Yeah. Yes, I do actually, I, I almost went with the PvP stream this week. Because I think the idea of just basically sitting there for an hour getting the, uh, you know what, beat out of me on the, uh, live public PvP bit actually sounds like a lot of fun. So I, I'm really going to enjoy doing that. I'm actually thinking of also doing, like, say, a, a deathmatch or capture the flag. Uh, but frankly, I'm a little unprepared this week because I, I sort of was uh, had a really busy morning, so I just wanted to do something a little easier uh, that would involve a little less planning. Um, so that's why I'm just doing the regular questing. But very, very soon, I'm going to be doing an actual PvP stream here on our Twitch stream for a Wednesday lunchtime thing. It is going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to actually check with maybe our GM team as well to see what kind of uh, leeway I might be able to have and perhaps spawning a few things as well. But we'll just kind of have to see see how that goes. There are some concerns, you know, especially when you do it on the, the live servers. Uh, you got to be careful not to, uh, you know, cause trouble or crash an instance or anything. A traps box on the other side on this one, right? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> well, that's what I'm kind of trying to see is what I what I might be able to do there. Like I said, there are some some technical things that I really do have to, to keep an eye out for. Um, you know, some of the, especially some of these public spaces aren't necessarily ready to uh, handle, say, a live uh, spawn like that, so you got to be careful. But, as you can see, you know, there have been times on Monty where we've spawned things and had to do a little bit of trickery um, that you can't necessarily get away with on the live server, so... Got to be careful about that. There's a stupid box in this thing. Come on, Katrina, stand in the trap. I 
Uh, is there going to be a fix for the lag that a lot of people have been experiencing in the last month? It depends on what kind of lag you're talking about. I mean, there's a lot of, um, you know, lag is a very general term that could be a lot of different things. But I will say this, uh, we do have some performance improvements slated for Update 22. Uh, we've been able to find a few things that we can optimize, uh, generally in regards to sort of lighting sources and uh, some of that sort of thing. And at least in our test environment, we've seen some uh, real positive improvements. There. So hopefully that will carry over to live servers when we, uh, when Update 22 hits. Uh, we are also in continuing to investigate the, uh, I guess, what, what is often termed on the forums as qu the, quote, double login bug. Uh, that is something that I myself have actually experienced at uh, home as well, so I'm well aware of, of that particular issue there. And it is def absolutely something that we, uh, we are working on um, to try to figure out what we can do. Rakshasa. You know, uh, sometimes every now and then people look at the Rakshasa model and go, ho oh, ho their hands are backwards. But that's actually the way they're supposed to be, according to lore. And that's actually uh, the correct way to do it. Their hands are actually flipped on a uh, Rakshasa. Do I have plans on streaming on Wayfinder? Yes, I actually streamed on Wayfinder uh, when we were first kicking off uh, the live stream. Uh, the very first couple of weeks we're on Wayfinder, but I will be returning to Wayfinder again. I have Orion here to do, and then I have Thalanus as well. I've not yet streamed on Thalanus. And then once those, uh, both those two servers are done, we're basically time to uh, reset the queue again and go through all the servers. So should be uh, ready to go fairly soon here for for that. So then probably, oh, I don't know, for a month or so. Any plans to increase the drop rate for seals and shards? I have not heard of any plans to do that. Sorry. <laughs> Make sure, let's see, servants, overlord. Go. I guess I should probably do this one on hard as well. Yep. Next week, Titan awaits. Oh, jeez. I don't know about that one, man. I, I would. I think one of the issues with me running Titan Awakes would be I would need to flag for it. I'd have whatever character I picked flagged for it. I'm not sure I've got time to do that, but uh, but it's an interesting idea. I would, I've, I've actually not run a whole lot of the Titan myself. Um, I mean, I did back in the day, you know, back in... Jeez, what was it, 2007, 2008? But I really haven't run the Titan that much in recent years. So, uh, not, uh, not an expert at the Titan at all. Uh, someone's saying in chat they would like the, uh, the tower shield in Haunted Halls, which looks like a buckler, to be more like a, uh, look more like a true tower shield. That's interesting, I'll have to look into that one. Um... May I ask, are there plans for more guild stuff? Guild-specific armor, cosmetics, or helms? That's an interesting idea. I have not heard of any plans to have, say, guild-specific cosmetic armors, but certainly there's going to be a whole lot of guilds, quote, guild stuff uh, coming up here with Update 22, and you'll start to see this on our Lamania preview server this week, so... Uh, you know, it's a little early. I'm just gonna. We want to you guys to see it fresh and give us a fresh perspective on it. So I don't want to spoil everything. 
right now, but let's just say there are some big changes in the works uh, for guild airships that I think you're going to like a lot. We've definitely said the uh, buff all button is there, and, and there's a whole bunch of other cool changes coming with uh, guilds as well. Uh, some people have wondered if the uh, level cap is going to increase. I guess I could uh, drop a little bit of a hint there that yes, it will. Um, ultimately, we're going up on uh, guild levels, and the there's going to be sort of a let's just say a bragging rights tier of guild renown, uh, where you're not really earning any tangible benefits other than some maybe minor cosmetic benefits, but uh, some really cool stuff. And we'll be having more that you'll find out about that within the next couple of days here on the Mania. Might be a good idea to equip that Inven Inventum Blade. I'm actually not level 16, so I cannot. But that is a great, uh, great weapon, though. Yeah. Well, tome drops. Tomes actually drop fairly regularly. A lot more than they used to, that's for sure. A uh, fixed character transfer to Lamania. Yes, that is in the works. We are absolutely hoping to do that. Um, I don't think it'll be ready for you this week's preview, but it's something we absolutely do want to do in the uh, very near future the here. Flame grows on the path ahead. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good way to describe it. Uh, X, uh, N, I, V, I, N, X. Niven, Niven, there we go. Yes, the buff all button is the best button. <laughs> I know it's been something that you know, ever since we first debuted uh, Guild uh, Airships, people have, have wanted, and I think that uh, it's great that we're finally able to, to really change the tech to allow that sort of thing to happen. Uh, along with, like I say, a whole bunch of other changes coming too that I think, uh, I think in general you're going to be really, uh, really pleased with. But keep in mind, you know, just like anything on the Mania, this is a public preview because we are taking uh, public feedback on it. So if you have an opinion, uh, there's time to take that into account. So uh, please feel free to uh, post on the Lamania forums and let us know what you think about these changes. Uh, we'd love to get your feedback Dusty on it. Dusty remains so. lie in front of a sealed stone door on the far side of the room. Hot stale air blows into the chamber. Yeah, it's a good place for a chain stone attack. Door slides yep. open. I'll leave it the group behind me my door. Sorry, I cut the tension to run my way through this uh, quest here a little bit. I really like the uh, uh, Shatter Kai chain attack. I actually don't play a Shatter Kai too much in my regular gaming group, but I'm going to have to roll one up because I've played one now for several of these live streams and they're a lot of fun to play. I actually really enjoy playing my Shatter Kai. Even with like this default gear, I imagine sort of what I might be able to do with it. Um, you know, in a uh, more long term, say, character build plan. It could be pretty awesome. Oh no! That was bound to happen. Oh no, our clerics did too. Uh, I was reading the chat. 
I I know we've certainly had uh, requests for ranks, but it's not something we've really uh, done up to this point. Um, we did have that one uh, system test of it. Oh, jeez, what was it, 2009, 2010 or whatever? But it ended up being uh, not not really working out very well for us. Uh, remember, I can't remember what it was. Everyone is like the name stuck, whether you uh, wanted it to or not. <laughs> it was kind of a problem. Uh, clerics do generally have a heal only setting. This one in the corner of the shields uh, mostly uh, just has them defend you, and that largely defaults to having them heal. But, uh, you know, uh, clerics, uh, hirelings in particular, tend to have a little difficulty on uh, some of these, like, lava areas and that. I think that's what we're seeing here. Yes, an R, a cleric, uh, hireling, uh, radiant servant would be pretty rad. Yep. For sure. Uh, we have no plans to add new emotes. Uh, I have not heard of any plans to do that. That would be pretty neat at some point, but uh, at this point we don't uh, don't have any plans for that. Any plans for a quest chain involving the Wizards of Thay? No, I have not heard of that. Let's see. Uh, you'll have to tell me a little bit more, uh, Dark, what you're talking, uh, or no, actually, uh, Gamer Jim, uh, about what you're talking about. I'm sorry, I'm not, not sure specifically what, uh, what bug you're referencing. Flickering torchlight illuminates a curiously well-worn path. Oh, that's right. Uh, dum -dum -dum -dum.
Yeah, you're right. It is uh, on emotes. It is largely a matter of priorities. The passageway is eerily quiet. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know, on the uh, walk animation thing. Make sure everyone's here. Uh, no immediate plans to improve hireling AI. It's something we would absolutely like to do, but there was some work done uh, a little while back in regards to hireling AI, but it ended up having to be uh, uh, reverted uh, in-house due to uh, just kind of a, a implementation issue there. Some kind of, a, it wasn't, it just was having some unintended uh, consequences. So, due to that, we ended up uh, not being able to do that. Whether we end up revisiting it at some point in the future, could happen. I actually don't mind the uh, DDO run animation. I think it's alright. I'm going to have to respectfully disagree. <laughs> but I appreciate your feedback on it. This magic barrier is different. It is flanked by a pair of empty sockets. Whew, okay, this could be a little tricky. Let's see. Uh, current caster level spells, when we do go up to, say, level 30, um, you know, will scale like they usually do with extra levels. Um, <laughs> someone would pay money for a, a cognitive style dance. That would be pretty rad. <laughs> uh, level range and difficulty in this run? I'm not actually sure on the level range, but on the difficulty is hard, so that makes it, what, a level uh, 17 quest? Yep, level 17 quest. I have not really heard of uh, casters having too difficult time at endgame, but uh, maybe. I know some DC casters would certainly like their, to see a boost. I'd say we're probably not equipped to take care of the optional here, huh? So let's just uh, skip that. Yes, my hireling is out of spell points, so I have to take care of that. What next, I shrine? There's actually a really tricky, we just skipped it for those who are new to this uh, quest here. There's a, a interesting uh, optional which, where you basically need to man a uh, sort of a lever, have someone do it while you fight off a bunch of casters, and that's really tricky uh, optional to do, but. Uh, it's also can be a, a pretty fun one if you've got the the skills and uh, preparation to do it. Oh yeah, I, Lily, I actually was unaware. Does something change if you're an elf there? What happened? Alright, well, I got a second. Let me uh, drop another code into a uh, chat here.
All right. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I, I thought maybe there was actually something in there. I wouldn't put it past a team to do something like that. But uh, I hadn't heard of it, so it used to me as a head. more oppressive as the path drops deeper into the heart of Kai. Yeah, every, I, I, everyone loves the dances, no question about it. We all love our dances, but I suppose we should probably do the optional here. Uh, we have not announced any plans to have a next uh, edition of the Monster Manual. I know it's something that uh, some folks would uh, very much like to see, but this time we uh, do not have any announced plans to do that. Yeah, so if you get a code, it'll just show up at your email there. Uh, I'm sending, basically PMing uh, people randomly uh, when a time permits. So if you see me pausing on the live stream in a weird way, I might well be because I've given someone some turbine points. Uh, just dropping it in a uh, message through uh, through Twitch here, so picking people randomly in chat for it. Yeah, you know that uh, those skivvies that uh, have been in DDO have been been there for quite some time. I think those go back to the very start. Ah, maybe the chat can help about that. Let's have a discussion. What are some of the best places to farm commendations of valor? Uh, well, anything, any quests that you can basically run on elite uh, quickly. So, you know, possible demands, house of death undone. I know, typically for myself, I'll often do the Menace of the Underdark chains uh, if I'm farming commendations. It's a pretty good series of uh, chains to just kind of zerg through and, and do it if you can. I don't know if people have better ideas. <laughs> I like the dredge dance. <laughs> I think they're funny. Yeah, House of Rusted Blades. That's good for all sorts of Sergen. <laughs> Yeah, Underdark. Like I say, all that, all those chains, Underdark, King's Forest, uh, Demon Web, just basically get a group together and just run through those. Good good way to rack up a whole bunch of uh, accommodations fairly quickly in the epic levels. Welcome! 
I don't know if you're in the live stream here, but uh, we're towards the end of Servants, so. I was in the live stream. I quickly rolled up a tune. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll we'll give you a minute or so to uh, get in here if you think you can do it. Yep. I'm in the Hall of Heroes. Hall of Heroes. Cool. A drow magic. Ba let me uh let me take a couple minutes here then, uh, to go into chat. And uh, get some people some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, advice for quick leveling. Really, the best advice I have is just. Uh, be in a group of people who know how to do it. Uh, there's a lot of great chains, a lot of great leveling guides, actually, on the DDO forums. That's where I'd check out. It depends whether you're talking about heroic leveling, epic leveling, um, you know, it might be leveling for fav just getting favor, whatever it is you want to do, but uh, there's quite a few great guides out there for that. I know myself, I tend to like at low levels, if I actually need to, say like on a TR or whatever, I'll uh, I'll go through like they say the harbor. Uh, a lot of the even the free quests in the harbor are actually quite good. Um, Waterworks is good for that. Uh, Butcher's Path, you know, for low level leveling. Uh, for mid tier leveling, oh I don't know, I'm still partial to like say Stormcleave and and what have you. Uh, for kind of higher tier leveling, I do the Veil of Twilight. I do. Uh, a Nectar and Desert. Whiz King is a good one once you get it down. Um, oh yeah, the Depths quests in House D can be good for low level XP. Um, Tangle Root, yep, Tangle Root's another good one. I always run through Dolores because I want the voice of the Master. Um, yeah. Gwil and Stand, that's the free quest, and that's one of my favorites as well. Well, like I say, uh, the, one of the best pieces of advice I'd have is just uh, check out the forums, just Google Leveling Guide or DDO Leveling Guide or whatever, and you'll see a whole bunch of write-ups that various players have uh, done over the years that, that you could even print out and sort of build your, your own path uh, to and all that sort of thing. So, Necropolis is great. Vons, always good for Vons, Vaughn 3. <laughs> you do need to, that is a paid adventure pack, so you would need either a guest pass or, or perhaps uh, purchase that pack if you wish to. So. Oh, that's no problem, uh, Polly, sorry about that, I can't join us here, I uh, wasn't thinking about that either. All right, well, yeah, uh, I've seen your Claire failed you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, you know, a hireling going over his head. Uh, Alexander Rolla mentions, uh, do I know these codes by heart? You know, you hear me type, shh. No, I'm copying and pasting the I actual 25-digit codes. But uh, live stream, then. Sure. All right, well, sorry uh, we couldn't have you join us here. Have fun. Bring our cleric back. The other cleric back. Uh, but I type quickly because I'm basically doing a little form letter of here's a code for turbine points. You can enter into the DDO store in the game, you know, that kind of thing. Just type it out real quick there. So I used to, uh, for many years uh, prior to being hired at Turbine, I was actually a uh, news reporter for a radio wire service uh, called uh, Metro Networks, if you're familiar with that. I also worked in radio and journalism for many years uh, prior to getting a job in the video game industry. So one thing that does teach you is uh, pretty quick typing. <laughs> you won't get away with this. Not if I can help it. Yeah, this this fight can actually be pretty tricky if you're or perhaps under-leveled or under-buffed or what have you. 
I do kind of need to be prepared for this one, particularly on a lead. I've seen some pretty bad wipes in here. I may have caused some pretty bad wipes. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. What what would the uh, Dwarven Iconic be, right? Um, sort of a prestige Dwarf role. Come on, D&D lore folks, I'm sure you can help me out with this one. to address that, for the obvious reasons. So. <laughs> it's more of an alcoholic. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it could be a special monk building, a drunken master. There you go. Ah, yeah, the Forgotten Realm, or Moradin's Hammer. Uh, Moradin would be cool. Yeah, you could definitely, there are definitely some things you could do there. That would be really cool. That's some cool ideas there. Frankly, in terms of XP at the mid levels, this this particular quest isn't too bad. The chain isn't too bad itself. Guys, want to just go straight into spinner? <laughs> You're right. We do need some. We need to get the party started here. Uh, this one can be uh, a little tricky. I, I really like this quest, actually. I got really good at uh, doing this, although I'll watch, I just totally uh, set myself up for failure here. But I got really good at doing this in uh, Gen Con 2012, because we had a PAX East that year, and Gen Con we had sort of a uh, challenge event where we retrofitted this uh, fight here with the Spinner of Shadows into uh, 
basically a little three minute challenge that we would run at the conventions where people had three minutes to sort of get the highest score they could and they would get that score from you know like getting the uh lighting the, the pillars and uh, fighting creatures and killing spiders and what have you and so i had a lot of you know some downtime uh, while i was say setting up ready for the uh exhibit hall to open and that sort of thing at gen con every day and so i would just roll up various uh, demo characters uh, like I do for the live stream here and just sort of practice and I got really actually pretty darn good at uh, cruising through that thing. Uh, you may, I don't know if uh, any of those uh, were there or remember uh, I was into a bit of a challenge with uh, Samus Garobo who was there that year and uh, I can't remember if he was the one who ultimately won or if it was uh, Tobril but it was one of those two that ended up taking the top prize but I was number two or three by the end of the event uh, in terms of being able to hit the, the highest score of the convention. Other than those uber DDO players who were really good at it, I actually was able to, um, beat most of the people the who took part in the contest. Give me a little tip her, here. Glowing spiders Save yourself some time. About, <laughs> devouring the flames that surround the, the spiders consume the last of the flames. There you go. And you find yourself unable to move. This is called the giving yourself a little head start. <laughs> I thought there was an enhancement line for that affected all Warhammers. Am I wrong about that? Is that the War Priest? Divine Crusader? Epic Destiny? That's something the, uh, we recently came out with that did affect uh, Warhammers. Maybe I'm wrong. I have to look that one up. Destroy these intruders, my lady! One of the Rakshasa's growls. We will report your glorious release to the world. Yeah, like my name. I just uh, had to come up with something you on the spot. Must help us release the other demon overlords. It's amazing how many bacon-related names have been taken in DDO. I wonder why that is. I will do no such thing. Now that I am free, I have no need for the other overlords. So uh, back in the day, for those who uh, aren't aware, this was a connection chain between Eberron and the Forgotten Realms. It's the lore way that we've been able to bridge the gap between the two worlds. So for those who are curious, uh, you know, how, how the characters actually get uh, from between uh, Forgotten Realms and Eberron, or Eberron and Forgotten Realms, this is actually the way to do it. You have not escaped yet. Some of the flame still burns here. Outwards are spiders. The silver flame guardian speaks. We have driven her back, but it will not last. Destroy her spiders. They have consumed the essence of At the uh, home, I actually sort of have my activate button, my U key, mapped to a again, thumb button on the mouse. And so for like picking more. these things up or using doors or whatever, you just kind of quick. Uh, you know, pop pop the uh, button there and pick up these wards. Makes it pretty convenient. I have a pretty rudimentary uh, mouse here at work, so I don't have that ability. But I see your game now, Flame Spirit. You are too weak to battle me yourself, so you use these mortals as pawns. You must have learned something of my ways from our time together. No matter. Let us begin! The voice of the Silver Flame whispers in your mind. Yeah, a big Hydra fight would be really rad. I know everyone's always, uh, you know, brought up Tiamat and all that sort of thing. It's such an iconic monster in the D&D. Anyone know if we got any spiders left over on this side?
their hiding places in response to the demon's call. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that would be pretty rad, Tiamat Adventure. Very, uh, very, uh, D &D cartoon. It's the Dungeons and Dragons ride. Whoa. Let's Once see. more, the demon's voice echoes from the shadows above. The only thing you can do is you uh, drop above. this into your inventory and help you keep Here track of how many of these wards you have. Kind of useful. Yeah, that's what I thought. War priest. Okay. You know, I was just thinking about the movie Willow uh, just the other day. It's pretty rad. I saw that. This is gonna date myself really badly. I saw that in a lock-in in middle school. You remember the uh, old lock-ins? That was pretty fun. The answer I'd say about uh, Greyhawk is frankly the answer I'd have to say about uh, you know any one of the other uh, myriad of of campaign worlds, which is that everyone has got a favorite one. I I like Greyhawk a whole lot a too, um, of dread but we have not as been if those darkness has entered your other very worlds. soul. The spinner of shadows has returned to the battle. All right, so it looks like we probably cleared out that one side. Like time to hit the other. Hey, Lamau. I think... Is there a Hezreal? Yeah, I don't see any more spiders over here. I guess we're done. I mean, there's still, you know, it's it's not as easy to just sort of say, well, let's make a whole campaign world. <laughs> you know, there's a huge amount of, uh, of work and content that would be involved, and we still have lots of plans for both Eberron and the Forgotten Realms. So I think, you know, building out a whole other campaign world on top of those two is probably not in the cards. Come for me, my sister, cries the Spinner of Shadows. Shadows decides to change tactics. Yeah, airship looked like a turtle. Uh, that's from, uh, that's from. Is that Discworld? Is that where that comes from? I suppose Japanese mythology. Once again, safe. 
Time for you to ah, finish reuniting the Ignore those rumors. It's nonsense. The demon chuckles in the shadows. An amusing game, mortals. But you are out of time. I grow stronger, and your allies dwindle. We end it now. Oh no, it <laughs> snared me in the end. Yeah, we got enough crystals. I'm heading in. <laughs> yes, yes, they did, uh, did take care of me. The last ward ignites, and brilliant light fills the cavern. The spinner of shadow shouts. But it is a shout of triumph, not defeat. Once yes, I am playing the Squishy Meat Sack. The quick-rolled Squishy Meat Sack. Uh, that was uh, created minutes before the live stream. <laughs> Uh, I am. I try my best to be a multitasker. What can I say? Uh, sometimes I'm better at it than others. She's here. <laughs> I called her across the worlds, and now she is. Ooh, a werewolf iconic in full plate. That'd be rad. When is Crystal Cove coming again? Yes, uh, we did mention that at the start of the live stream, but uh, for those who are just joining us, uh, Crystal Cove will be coming back starting tomorrow. And it'll be here for about a week. Uh, we also have a commendation boost that will be going into effect tomorrow for those who are perhaps a uh, higher level uh, than they are interested in running Crystal Cove in. So we have something for people across the level range there. Also, just today we in implemented a uh, plus 10% heroic and epic XP boost. And that's going to run until update 22 ends. And we have not yet announced a release date for update 22. But uh, we are going to be showing a, a first preview of update 22 on Lavania, perhaps as soon as uh, tomorrow, uh, at very least probably Friday. It depends on things, how work progresses in the next, really next uh, probably 12 hours. Standing yeah. before the silver flame guard. Uh, no new gear in uh, Crystal Cove this year. It's the uh, uh, Crystal Cove is returning to what it was. That was a weird look. Yeah. I 
Well, thank you very much, uh, Ducal. I appreciate it. Yeah, I uh, I may have to do a live stream uh, from Crystal Cove as well. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, my uh, my Crystal Cove skills are they're okay. They're all right. <laughs> I've, I've been better. I've seen worse. So, but I'm not too terrible at Crystal Cove. And I do enjoy it a lot. I really like running uh, Crystal Cove with a group of uh, close friends. It's a lot of fun. And you can sort of practice your tactics and techniques together until you really get the uh, the cove run down to super smooth. You don't really even need to, to communicate your tactics after a little while and everyone just sort of does their thing. It's a great way to, to get the stuff you want. I actually expect Crystal Cove to be... Um, in some ways, uh, it's more popular this time around due to Mistress. the new swashbuckle. The passage to Kaiba remains open to your advantage. The drow of the Underdark will not fail you. Woe to the intruders who dare enter the demon web. They will be slaughtered as a sacrifice to your greatness. Even that fool, Elminster, will not hinder the darkening that will consume Toril. Nothing will stand in your way! I would love to be him. There's actually a technical reason why I'm probably not going to ever be able to, and that is that, um, you know, we are uh, owned by Warner Brothers, right? And so, typically, Warner Brothers, um, make sure that they use uh, union talent uh, as part of their stuff. And so I am not a member of the Screen Actors Guild, which I might need to be if I wanted to do professional voice work for, for our game. So. Yeah, that was a neat cut screen. I wanted to keep quiet so I could do that. All right, uh, thanks for uh, running with me, everyone. Uh, let me uh, grab a screenshot. I'm going to uh, send you a tell or a mail in game uh, with a turbine point code for anyone in the party here with me. I'll do it once the uh, live stream is turned off. Uh, I really appreciate you guys running with me. So let's see. We have just a couple minutes left. I got to get some lunch, but let me uh, see about any final chat here. Uh, I don't know if we've had any more plans for cutscenes like this particular one. Uh, uh, people like it, but in general, we I think we heard that people prefer um, maybe that we don't do it for every quest, just because it does take up time where you'd rather be doing other things, perhaps. But as a way to bridge the gap and tell the story of uh, Eberron and Menace of the Underdark, it uh, was a really, really great ad, and I'm really glad we were able to do it. So... All right, uh, before I call it a day, let me uh, drop some turbine point codes into our chat. First one to grab it gets it. You need to uh, enter these codes into the DDO store in game. Uh, I'm going to call it a uh, call it a show here, everyone. I really appreciate you guys being here with me. Uh, thanks very much for watching. As always, we're always streaming live on Wednesdays, starting at noon Eastern on twitch.tv slash stream. If you create a Twitch account and follow us, you'll be notified by email whenever we're live streaming outside of these regular hours and uh, be able to join us every Wednesday as well. So thank you very much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you here next week.